Yeah, welcome to the fantasy football. We're gonna do a little something different today. Sunday's coming, setting the tone. Built my whole roster, they call me the throne. From the draft to the trade, yeah, I hold my own. Playoff bound, watch me enter the zone. I'm making moves, yeah. I'm out for the kill, flecking my bench all talent, no chill. Got my QB throwing bombs with the will. <laughs> Stacking these points like I'm paying the bills. It's fantasy time, I'm claiming my crown week after week. I'm locking it down, my squad is so strong, ain't messing around. Championship glory, I'm taking the throne. Started from the waivers, now my team's elite. Feeling like a champ every time we compete. Rubbies run wild, rubbers run beat. Fantasy legend facing defeat. Opponents tripping, they checking the score. I'm stacking TDs, watching, I'm begging for more. Coming for the trophy, that's what I swore. Top of the league, now I'm ready to soar. It's fantasy time, I'm claiming my crown. Week after week, I'm locking it down. My squad is too strong, ain't messing around. Championship glory. I'm taking the town. Welcome my fantasy brothers. Hope you enjoyed the performance. Let's jump right into the action. Alright. Uh, theme of the week was how good is your QB? And surprise of the week is how good is your defense? Because those two themes pop up all week. So to start, we got Uncle Reno at Goon Squad, uh, both solid QBs, and really, both these teams kind of suck. But, I mean, there's a lot of potential. CJ Stroud had a good week. Shaden Daniels had a good week. Uh, this middle part, I think these, these teams are going to get exposed all week. Uh, moving on to Randy Daytona and Dream Killer. Uh, massive points. I mean, you never want to lose when you put up 175. But when you got Tua dropping 43, Tyreek dropping 35, there's not much you can do. But the difference maker, and this is what Dream Killer did just a few days before the thing, he picked up the New Orleans defense that got him 28 points and, you know, pretty much sealed the deal for him. Moving on, we got the one-man wolf pack benefiting with Chris Olave, who the goon squad dropped. Now, it didn't make that big of a difference, but... Uh, look at this team right here. You got Josh Allen versus Colin Murray. But look at those points, man. 43, and he had a bad day. He did all that in the second half. Uh, Josh Dobbins had a big day. This hurt right here. This hurt right here. And look at that. Negative two points. First time I've ever seen negative points. But the, both these teams have a lot of potential. One man will pack making good moves. Uh, moving on. We got Hawaii 5 0 versus the Rilla Club. Hey, tough matchup, man. Sucks to lose by two points. I'd rather lose by a blowout than two points. Uh, but don't always expect Jamar Chase to get down like that. Big loss in Puka Napua. Hopefully he comes back right. But look at the 29 points from Dallas. They're an elite defense. Find you an elite defense. Because if you get 29 points, that's savage down 42. Moving on, Trash Bandit 5000. Hey, this is a solid team, folks. Be scared. Hey, and don't panic. There's no panic for Raider Nation for life. There's no panic. All these numbers are going to get up. Uh, Dak, in a dominating win, only needs to drop 20, but that's not always going to be the case. These two are going to score massive points over this season. Uh, it's just this is a solid team. A solid team. And really, you know. The points came from right here and Seattle. You know, keep a, keep your eye on Trash Bandit. And wrapping it up, we got Puka Punch with another just 170 bomb on in the face. You know, when you get 50 from Lamar Jackson, you don't think you're going to lose. You know, but defense, the kicker gave him 20. Williams... I mean, this may be a good team. I don't know. It's still kind of early to say. He's the one who used his first-round pick on Jalen Hurts. But that's all I got, folks. Hope you guys have a good week. Look forward to you next time.